We're at the Saffron Centre in Birmingham today uh, with a variety of people who've had multiple issues in their lives and also those commissioning and providing services in Birmingham. Councils from across the West Midlands and the three local enterprise partnerships have come together as the West Midlands Combined Authority. One of the things that the various councils are very interested in working on together is learning from each other about how we work more effectively with and improve outcomes for what we call troubled individuals, which are those with a variety of complex needs. Things like substance misuse, homelessness, offending, um, maybe worklessness. But often, and I think quite rightly, it's about us, it's about a troubled system. And actually, if we turn our thoughts round, is it us or is it the so-called troubled individuals? And I think probably at least half the time it's us. Today's workshop is very much the start of that journey of how we can learn from each other. Each table's developed an idea about how things could be made better and presented them to our Dragon's Den of experts. Some of the ideas that they've come up with are about how to prevent problems in the first place, while some of them are about how things can be made better once problems happen. There are fantastic services, it isn't about that, it's about coming together and having those real conversations. The multi-agency thing is important, that there's people from different cultures there and to speak different languages. That's where experts by experience would come in. We would need you to come and help us. That's not knocking professionals, but people with their own experience to help others is invaluable. No matter what your background is, whether you're homeless, whether you've got drug and alcohol problems, whether it's mental health, this is a place where you can come and get the help you need. You would get help with benefit sanctions. We heard time and time again that that can be a dead stop that can push you into more negative behaviours. So if we had help in this uh, centre, information hub, whatever we're going to call it, to help you advocate your way uh, back into getting into payment, then that would be a real help. I've been using drugs from an early age. Um, I've been in Birmingham just over eight years, and it's only since I came to Birmingham that I've tried to stop. Um, I've done a couple of detoxes in the last few years, but um, I haven't used drugs for about a year and a half. Yeah, I was born in Scotland, moved to Birmingham when I was four, got put into care. Um, I was in and out of care most of my life. Um, ended up turning to drugs from the age of 11. I had a very disruptive, disturbing, dysfunctional childhood from a very, very early age. Um, I didn't do too well at school, and of course I was born in the 70s, and in, in, in them times there was no social services for you to go to, there was no child line, there was no NSPCC. My partner, she, she saved my life, she helped me, stop me, stop me shoplifting, she helped, she helped me a lot. I did a 26 um, week uh, day programme there. Um, and that's basically where it all began really, um, the help and support there was just brilliant. Expert by experience panel, that actually you guys, rather than commissioners listening to you, then going away and putting something in place, maybe listening to you in its entirety or in part, we'd like you to be the ones that sign off on the service, sign off on the contract. Two of us in this room were a testament to that. You know what I mean? Who, through seeing somebody else who's lived a life very similar to ours, call it complex needs, call it whatever you want, yeah. and seeing how they're living their life today without having to go through all the troubles, gives you that hope. So if you intend to do, which sounds very good, yeah? Well, what about if this end sorted out? How can that end be sorted out? How can your... It's been pretty good. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's nice to know this is happening and it's going to be took seriously from all the service users that have attended today. What was it? <laughs> Expert by <laughs> experience. Yeah, for all of us that have turned out today, I think they've done pretty well. I find it very helpful. And um, it's nice to know people out there willing to listen. It's a kind of a strange concept. Like, I'd be interested to see now what kind of ideas are going to be pitched here. Um, proper Dragon's Den kind of thing. So I can just see myself doing a tea up a Pete and going, I'm out on everything. But um, no, it's that'd be good. It seems like people here 
from what I've heard so far, people seem to have a few good ideas and they are listening to what's been said, so it'll be interesting to see what ideas people come up with. Um, I'm finding it really good, yeah, it's, it's quite an eye-opener. It's good to see um, all the providers here and um, the public health. Um, I think there needs to be um, some change in Birmingham. Again, the old saying, you can bring a horse to water, you can't make a drink, so I think things were offered to me along the time and wasn't interested. Or, and the thing is, like until somebody themselves decides that they want to stop, nothing will stop them. <laughs> Like you can beat them up, you can lock them up, you can do whatever, and they'll still use. Whereas if somebody decides they want to stop and the help is there, that's it, that's the combination. It's just getting the timing right, I suppose. For me, I do believe that um, for us people, us Caribbean people in Birmingham, we do need to um, have as much as you can rep representation from the child right up to uh, adults. Um, I think there needs to be better communication so the services are working together. Um, so like for instance like at the moment my, my drug worker is in like one building over one side of Birmingham and my doctor is in another building over the other side. I think they need to be in the same building um, and, and working together to, to support the service user. If you're watching this film somewhere else in the West Midlands region, what we'd like you to do is to think about um, the experiences of people who use your services and what might be possible to make that experience better. Are there any opportunities to do things differently, maybe by intervening earlier? And how can you work differently with other organisations to make that happen?